Hi everyone, Ryan here. Um, bringing you another great book review, and today we're gonna look at Modern Computer Architecture and Organization by Jim Leiden, published by Pack Books. This is, as you see, the second edition. This is the newest one. This is filled with some of the most latest and newest technologies. Um, and architectures out there so so I've also read and reviewed the first edition I uh, say if you'd like go check out that review because it'll give you an uh, overview of what's in both these editions because this book covers everything that's in the first plus it has a bunch of additional things that are new um, so you definitely want to check out both if you're interested but in this review today I'm going to focus on what's new in this edition um, and what you'll be learning um, if you pick up the second as opposed to the first. So basically I'll say if you're going to pick out one, pick out the newest one because you're going to get all the info from the first plus a bunch of additional stuff in the second. Um, now first of all I just want to say the quality of the pages in this book is um, it's much, it's much higher quality. The code snippets are like nice and soft. Um, there's not like a heavy contrast but they're very easy to see that you're looking at either a code snippet or you're not it's you know it's just um it's got a nice contrast a nice feel to it so it's, it's a good quality paper that's printed on there's also about a hundred more pages in this book as opposed to the first book so that means there's a bunch of new things that are covered in this book um, that's what that means so what are those new things um well all sorts of things really um there's been a bunch of new technology that has come out since the first book and so this book focuses and brings attention to all these things um, you know it starts out with things such as like the DDR5 uh, DDR5 SD RAM uh, which is uh, the fifth generation of RAM modules um, that are beginning to be rolled out in many of the uh, new computers and laptops today uh, Jim Leading goes over things like Trusted Boot as well, which is one of the requirements of the new Windows 11 operating system. Um, there are some additional RISC-V architectures that are covered. Uh, variants like uh, SOC, System on a Chip Technologies, that focus on artificial intelligence and machine learning. Also, um, some ultra-low power processing, some IoT edge smart devices, and more. So IoT is Internet of Things. The smart devices are basically like our watches and our, our shoes and our connected devices that are on this network. Um, so all this stuff comes together and has a ton of sensor data that can be analyzed and used in different things. Um, so also... Um, this book, Modern Computer Architecture and Organization, second edition, uh, gets into things like the new Apple uh, Apple iPhone, for instance. You know, the iPhone 13 um, Pro Max. It talks about that. It talks about some GP like uh, GPUs like the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3090 has a section devoted to it, and it's talked about. Uh, it covers. Um, deploying applications to the cloud, cloud applications, and how, how to do that. So that's, um, we all know that's pretty much what everything is now is on the cloud. All the software, all our pictures, all just all our data. It seems like everything is becoming more and more cloud-based. Um, and speaking of how everything is becoming more and more cloud-based, uh, that has to make you wonder about things such as like security and potential risks of data loss or theft uh, especially if you're you know a software engineer that's developing a big project you know that's intellectual property if someone were to steal that or if you're holding data for clients that's private data and that could still I mean that could be the end of your career so how do you stop these things how do you prevent these things from happening uh, well there's a whole chapter devoted to different tools and the different techniques and the different ways you could build an architecture that will help you to defend against such things so that's that's I think very important to have in a book so he definitely does a good job covering that um, also blockchain and Bitcoin mining architectures are covered um, so we all know how fast these cryptocurrencies blew up, especially over the COVID period where everyone was just doing everything online. Um, so, 
you know, these things blew up, and you got a lot of people who are into this stuff, but not many people even understand, you know, how it operates, or how it functions, or, you know, what makes it what it is, you know, so this book will actually give you the inside scoop on this stuff, it, it presents you with some good mathematical principles as well, that they're basically the foundation of the cryptocurrency. Uh, so if you're into math, then you get a little math. I mean, it's not too hardcore math. It's not like doing some integrals or doing some heavy calculus or sort of linear algebra. It's just some good algebra and some good math that'll make your mind get a little bit, you know, thinking. It'll be like, oh, that's where all this Bitcoin stuff, that's how it operates. So that's good. Self-driving cars is talked about. Um... So, I mean, certainly this topic is becoming more and more realized over the last few years. You know, you got Teslas driving themselves, you got Uber racing, all these car companies racing to get cars out there, driving themselves, picking up people, there's taxis. Um, so, so this book here, Modern Pure Architecture and Organization, it gives us some good general knowledge along with some conceptual tools that will uh, allow us to communicate and understand others that are in the industry. So say you're at like a convention or say you're somewhere and you're talking to some people that are, you know, that have already a good background in this and they're talking to you, uh, you'll be able to have meaningful discussions with them. And, you know, so that's important, I think. And it's even, you know, it gives you a good foundational grasp of the field. Uh, so, so that's very useful in situations, uh, especially in situations where someone may still be in college or someone's trying to decide uh, you know what field or what area of computer science or technology they want to focus on um, so actually in my opinion it is books like this that have uh, such a broad and range and overview of so many interested and fascinating technological avenues uh, for someone to explore that really help people to know whether a certain uh, industry or topic is something that they might be interested in pursuing more so so this book really it also it digs deeper into things like you know even like quantum computing um, as well. So you know you know which is quantum computing is thought to be probably one of the next big things coming to the technology technology space and it gets into it and it talks about it. Um, so so being able to get some great insight into that is is I think very important because qu- quantum computing, I mean. You hear quantum computing, but it's like, what is quantum computing? Like, what does it even mean? Well, this book will help you understand what it means. That's that's what I'm trying to get at. This book is good. It's not too, it's not too like uh, too technical where you're not going to be able to read the book. It's it's readable. It's a very enjoyable and readable book. I mean, it goes into everything on such a lot, you know, in a detail that's detailed enough that you know you're learning something good. It's not just like so so high level that you're not getting any of the technological tidbits that you want you're getting those but you're not getting too low that you're not understanding so it's, it's a good i think this book is great for anyone um anyone on any kind of level but if you're in technology i mean that uh, and you'll you'll enjoy this book and you'll be able to pull some some something out of this book absolutely um i think it's just a it's a great book it's a great book um it's got also got exercises at the end of each chapter so those exercises are great to reinforce what you're learning. Um, pretty much the exercises are the same from the first edition to the second. The newer, you know, there's a couple of new chapters. Um, those chapters have new exercises, but all the previous chapters that are the same, they don't really have any new exercises. I feel like there could have been a couple more exercises sprinkled in, even those sections, which would have kind of made it feel a little bit newer, you know, in those parts. Um, but generally... And all in all, it's, it's, it's a great book. Um, it's very digestible. It's very enjoyable to read. Jim Jim Leiden, Jim Leiden, I think that's how it's pronounced. Jim Leiden, he does a great job writing. Um, I can't say that enough. He, he makes this information very, very easy to digest, very easy to take in and learn from. Um, so if if you're someone who plans to do like system engineering or software architecture or any of that kind of stuff, then this book is definitely right up your avenue. Um, I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy that Jim Layden did did, uh, did the second edition. Um, it's definitely 
something that was in the making you know it definitely the first one was good but this one has got all the updated stuff uh, so it's definitely definitely worth checking out um so with that i say pack books does a great job again bringing another great author and another great book to us i would say definitely check it out if you're interested in and thank you have a great day